Today, I will explain the crocheting method for the king flower. First, let's crochet the core part of the king flower. For this part, we need to use red yarn and a 2.0 mm crochet hook. To make it easier to show how to crochet, here I'm using orange thread to show you. To start, we work into a magic ring. Here's how to crochet into a magic ring. First, hold the end of the yarn, wrap the yarn around your little finger, then loop it around your index finger, and once more around your middle finger. Hold it down with your thumb, insert the hook into the first loop, catch the yarn and pull it through. This completes the magic ring. In the first round, we need to crochet six single crochet stitches. Wrap the yarn again and pull it through the loop on the hook, completing the chain stitch. Here's how to make a single crochet stitch. Insert the hook close to your finger, catch the yarn and pull it through, leaving two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn again and pull it through both loops in one go. This completes our first single crochet stitch. Place a stitch marker on this first stitch. For subsequent rounds, place a stitch marker on the first stitch of each round. I won't repeat this instruction later. Now, let's continue with the second stitch. Insert the hook in the same way. Catch and pull the yarn through, then wrap the yarn and pull it through both loops. With two single crochet stitches completed, please continue crocheting on your own. Once done, tighten the ring. From the side, you can see the stitches made by the hook. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch in the first stitch marked by the marker. The slip stitch is made by inserting the hook into the first stitch of each round, marked by the stitch marker, wrapping the yarn, and directly pulling it through the loop on the hook. This concludes our first round. Now, let's crochet the second round. This round consists of six single crochet increase stitches, which means crocheting two single crochets into each stitch, resulting in a total of 12 stitches for this round. Let me show you. First, make a chain stitch. Our first stitch is crocheted into the same stitch as the previous round slip stitch. Then crochet another single crochet into the same stitch. This completes one single crochet increase stitch. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, our second round is complete. Next, we crochet the third round. This round involves a pattern of one single crochet stitch, followed by one single crochet increase stitch, repeated six times for a total of 18 stitches. Here's how. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet. Followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. I'll demonstrate another set. Then please continue on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And our third round is complete. Next, we crochet the fourth round. Our fourth round consists of a pattern of two single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch, forming one set. We will crochet six sets in total, resulting in 24 stitches at the end of this round. Let me show you how to do it. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet two single crochet stitches. Then 
followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. Let me demonstrate another set for you. Please continue to crochet the rest of the round. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the fourth round is complete. Now, let's crochet the fifth round. The fifth round consists of 24 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, totaling 24 stitches at the end of the round. Begin by making a chain stitch, then crochet the first and second single crochet stitches. Please continue to complete the fifth round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the fifth round is finished. Next, we work on the sixth round. The sixth round consists of a pattern of three single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch, forming one set. We will crochet six sets in total, resulting in 30 stitches at the end of this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet three single crochet stitches. followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. Let me show you another set. Please continue to crochet the rest of the round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the sixth round is complete. Now, let's crochet the seventh round. The seventh and eighth rounds consist of 30 single crochet stitches each, without any increases or decreases totaling 30 stitches at the end of each round. Begin by making a chain stitch, then crochet the first and second single crochet stitches. Please continue to complete the 8th round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the 8th round is finished. Next, we work on the 9th round. The 9th round consists of a pattern of 4 single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet increase stitch, forming one set. We will crochet 6 sets in total, resulting in 36 stitches at the end of this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet 4 single crochet stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. Let me show you another set.
please continue to crochet the rest of the round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the ninth round is complete. Now, let's crochet the tenth round. The tenth round consists of 36 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, totaling 36 stitches at the end of the round. Begin by making a chain stitch. Then crochet the first and second single crochet stitches. Please continue to complete the 10th round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the 10th round is finished. Next, we work on the 11th round. The 11th round consists of a pattern of two single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet decrease stitch, forming one set. We will crochet nine sets in total, resulting in 27 stitches at the end of this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet two single crochet stitches. Then make a single crochet decrease stitch. Pay attention to the method of crocheting the decrease stitch. Let's take a closer look. A complete stitch forms a V shape. For the decrease stitch, we crochet the outer half of the V, which is closer to us. First, use the crochet hook to pick up the half V of the first stitch, then immediately pick up the half V of the second stitch. At this point, there are three loops on the crochet hook. Wrap the yarn over the hook and pull through the first two loops, leaving two loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn over again and pull through both loops. This completes our single crochet decrease stitch. Let me demonstrate another set. Please continue to crochet the rest of the round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the 11th round is complete. Next, we crochet the 12th round. Our 12th round consists of a pattern of one single crochet stitch, followed by a single crochet decrease stitch, forming one set. We will crochet nine sets in total resulting in 18 stitches at the end of this round. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch. Followed by a single crochet decrease stitch. This completes one set. Let me show you another set. Please continue to crochet the rest of the round on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And the twelfth round is complete. Once done, crochet a chain stitch. Leave a 4-inch tail to cut the yarn and hide the yarn.